What is going on everybody? It's Jay Ball, Blue Jays Maple Syrup, and I am super, super stoked about this video. This is the first official video of the 2021 Maple Syrup season. We're in the latter parts of October. You can see that the leaves are still changing color. And even though the season is probably still about five months away, it's, it's prep time. I've got to be doing all my prep work. So for me, it's a little bit earlier than I started last year, but for good reason, which I'll explain to you guys in just a minute. But before we get into to the working part of it, I want to give you guys an idea of what you're going to see during the 2021 maple syrup season. So last year I tried to do a really good job or the best job I could as far as documenting all the work that goes into making maple syrup. And I really didn't have any clue about Instagram and YouTube and everything. And I'm still learning about that, but What's going to be different about this year is I'm going to break down every single part of my process. You guys are going to see the good, the bad, the ugly, everything that it takes to actually make Blue Jays maple syrup in the hopes that at the end of the season, if you guys want to buy some of my maple syrup, you guys can say that, hey, I've seen how that syrup was produced from the time I started, uh, you know, cutting wood, splitting wood, stacking it, get everything ready to the, to the time when I tapped the trees, pulled the sap out of the trees, collected it, boiled it, bottled it, and finished it. So that's that's really my goal is to show you guys every single part of my process. Like I said, the good, the bad, the ugly, you guys are gonna see it all. So yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out with me. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. So anytime I post a video, which there's gonna be a lot of them, especially this year, uh, you'll know every time I post a video. So enough with the intro. Again, appreciate you guys' time. Appreciate your support. I know you guys are busy. Let's get into why I'm starting and, and uh, getting the wood stacked today and how this all goes. So check this out. So for those of you that follow along with me last year, um, you guys, this is not an unfamiliar site. This is uh, cut two by fours and pallets. So for my maple syrup operation, I burn nothing but pallets. Um, this all actually came from my father-in-law's house. He put a new steel roof on his house and these are actually the support pieces for the steel frame. He's got some of his decking in there. So this is what I'm actually gonna burn. I burn about 12 to 15 yards of cut pallets or this cured wood. And the reason why I do that is because it burns really, really hot. So I don't cut split, split oak and maple and all that kind of stuff. I get the hottest fires possible by burning pallet wood. So this is the start of the, of the stack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these sheets of OSB and I'm gonna screw them to these pallets. And this is gonna be the box that I use to stack all the wood in. I've got my steel posts here that are gonna be my anchor points for my sugar shack. You guys are probably wondering like, Where's the sugar shack? Well, my sugar shack is actually a partable carport that I take down every season, so I don't leave it up every year. So this time of year, like I said, in fall, you can see the leaves are still changing. Um, this is when I do all my prep work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera up on the holder. I'm gonna do a time-lapse and I'm gonna show you guys what it takes just to get the, the um, area set up for stacking the wood. And then we'll start taking all the wood out of the back of the truck and stacking it in here. So let's check this out. So there, now I have my base of my wood pile started. So you can see I've got some T-posts in there for anchor, anchor points that I use to ratchet strap down the sugar shack so it doesn't get blown away by the wind. So now comes the really, really fun part of stacking this cut wood individually in this wood pile, okay? So I stack it individually like linking logs because I can fit, like I said, over 12 yards of cut pallets and cut wood in this little area. So it might seem like a little bit of overkill, but I've got to utilize the space that I have. I don't have a ton of room to do this in. I want to keep all my wood in one place covered up by the sugar shack so that during the season, I don't have to go outside and get it. It's not covered in snow. It's all going to be right here. So let's start stacking. Now, some of you might be thinking like, Jay, this seems like a lot of work already, just stacking the wood individually like that. Like I said, I can get about 12 to 15 yards of this pallet wood and these cut two by fours stacked into this area and I actually ran out of wood last year. So maybe I'm gonna try to get a little bit more, but 
there's no real mad science to stacking this wood. It's just really important that you stack it. And I try to get it just as tightly knit or tightly packed in here as you can see. I might rearrange some of this stuff back here once I start getting more of the pallet wood. But again, I'm trying to conserve space and make sure that I have enough room in here. And you know, looking in the back of my father in laws pickup, they look like there's a lot of wood, but right here, there's there's not a ton. So and if in a future post, I'll explain to you what I do to this wood before I burn it, but we're not gonna get into that right now. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this up because you can see it is rainy. It's going to start downpouring for the next week or two. And uh, within the next, hopefully, week or two, I'll be getting more pallet wood and we'll keep, uh, we'll keep stacking away. So let me get the cover on this thing and we'll wrap this video up. So there you have it. That's the very first installment of the Maple Syrup 2021 season for Blue Jays Maple Syrup. And I get it. It's probably not the most exciting post. And this is just what it's all about, guys. I mean... It might seem like a lot of work again like i mentioned stacking this wood like this but i'm very fortunate to where i have access to all these cut pallets which you guys will see in a future video you know i don't have a woods to go cut wood i don't have the ability to split it and to dry it and to age it like a lot of people do so i'm just taking advantage of the fact that i have access to these pallets so if you are interested in getting into this and you can find a source for pallets that's readily available that's fairly inexpensive for me that's the best source that i've found to get the hottest fires possible and again, as we progress through the season, I'll explain to you again why I burn pallets, you know, the combination of hard and soft wood and, and really to get the hottest boils possible because that's how I, I truly believe I can make the best quality syrup. So really do appreciate you guys' time. I know everyone's super busy. So to take the hopefully less than 10 minutes this video is and, and, and watch this, I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Again, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you know every time I post a video. And again, thank you. My name is Jay Ball, Blue Jays Maple Syrup. The best way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. We'll see you next time. Thanks.